Hey friends, this is Mayank, founder of Archetype and today we're gonna learn about IB Designable and IB Inspectable. So what is IB Designable and IB Inspectable? Guys, it's a way to add custom elements and attributes to your interface builder, which can be directly seen in your attribute inspector. Like if you want to make change in your UI button, like UI color, its, its color or its width or its uh, image. So you can make changes using UI Designable and UI Inspectable. You can also make changes in UI image view, UI label, etc. So let's see how we do it. So let's open Xcode and create a new Xcode project. Now select single view application, click next and write the product name. Like I will write here designable app, designable app. Okay, click next and create so now we have our project here let's go to main or storyboard and here just to save some time i have taken uh, some design like email text field and password text field uh, login button and some blur effect in the background so what we want to do today is to use ib designable and ib inspectable in our project so let's get started and go to view controller.swift file either we can add our code here which will be quite lengthy if we do here uh, or we can make a separate class using ib designable and ib inspectable so let's see how to do that create a new file cocoa attach class then next and select the type here like if you want to make changes in the button select the class subclass type ui button here is the ui button and i will give the name to this class as designable button or design button and hit next and create so here we need to write our code like i'll show you how to do that first of all write the uh, write at the rate ib designable just before the class name designable so here ib stands for interface builder ib inspectable create a variable say border width which we want to change in that button and its type will be cg float and by default its value will be 0.0, .0 now you want to set this value to our buttons border width so write self dot no 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 did set first then you can set the value so write self dot layer dot border width is equals to the border width we will modify from here so let's save these changes and see what will happen when we shift this login buttons class to design button by default the uh, class of this login button is ui button but what we want here that the class of this button should be design button so let's select design button and it will make the changes like it is updating it now it's up to date let's see the attribute inspector now so here as you can see the border width option has appeared so when you will uh, increase the border width it will change like this and here we want the border width to be one only now let's change the border color also as you can see the border color is not that good here we want like white color so let's make an option for the border color also so let's go back to a design button class and like the same way let's write ib inspectable where border color which will be of ui color and its default value will be ui color dot clear now did set and write self dot layer dot border color sorry it's it will be border color is equals to 
border color the this one border color so it's showing some error here it cannot assign value of type ui color to cg color so let's write dot cg color cg refers to core graphic color and save the changes and let's see yeah so here you can see that the option of border color has also appeared so now you can make changes to the color like i will give this color to white and a button will look like this now so it's looking pretty nice now and that's how you can use ib inspectable and ib designable in your application so guys i hope you liked the video if you like the video please hit the like button down below and subscribe my channel for more such videos in future see you in the next one bye bye